up guys, I'm Kel, Red Zone Rogue, and welcome to another Force of Will Rare Cluster Starter Deck Spoiler Video. So let's kick it off with the new Ruler, Gil. And if you play Force of Will for any amount of time, you probably recognize that name from Gil Alhamat and like Gil Lapis and this kind of like lineage of Gils. Um, a lot of people suspect this dude is Gil Alhamat. Gil Alhamat himself. <laughs> Man, words are hard because of the white hair and stuff. But anyway, let's talk about him. He is a ruler, human. He has a judgment of three. It's uh, two wind and one of any. He is energized. It says, remove an elemental in your graveyard from the game. Produce one wind. Spend this will only to play uh, spirit magic chance. Uh, and then play this ability only once per turn. So it's kind of like kind of like an ancient magic system here. Except you're removing um, elementals from your graveyard from the game. And then he says, you can rest him. You can search your deck for a card named Gentle Breeze Elemental. Reveal it and put it into your hand. And then shuffle your deck. And then he's got some wingdings. Looks like an ancient magic stone type deal for his wingdings. So, I don't know how to feel about this ruler. I think he's okay. Uh, I think if the elemental thing is going to be good, it's going to be okay. And I think if you can maybe cheat out some spirit magic chance, it's going to be okay. But um, Also, he looks like Link from Legend of Zelda. He's wearing green. He's got a little fairy buddy. So... Yeah, there's some like some Zelda references here. So anyway, let's talk about the J Ruler. So it's Gil, the Gifted Conjurer. He's in 1100-1100. He's a J Ruler human. He has just straight up barrier, which is really sweet. That's actually really good. 1100-1100 with barrier. Pretty good. And it says, uh, remove an elemental from your graveyard from the game. Produce one wind. Will. Spend this will only to blah, blah, blah. Play this only once per turn. Same thing as the other side. And he also has the wingdings. So... Yeah, I mean, that, basically that's what he does. He does the same thing as the other side, except this side he's an 1100-1100 with Barrier, which is pretty good. Um, I guess it just all depends on what his wingdings do. We, we don't really know yet, so it's hard to tell if he's going to be super good or not. Um, and let's just start talking about the other cards, because I have some mixed feelings about them. So first up we have Spirit Stone. I think the stone is actually super good. Special Magic Stone, Take this card as a Wind Magic Stone. You can rest it to produce a Wind, and you can banish it to draw a card. That's really cool. Early game, it acts as, you know, just a, a Magic Stone. And then late game, you can banish it when you have a few cards in your hand to draw extra cards. I really like this card. I think it's actually really good, and I think it'll see play possibly in decks other than the Gil deck. Well, if it does see play, it'll see play in decks other than the Gil deck, possibly in addition to the Gil deck. So... Let's move on. We have the Gentle Breeze Elemental. This is the card that Gil can search out. It, it's a uh, quick cast chant. It's also a spirit magic slash elemental. So it is an elemental and it is a spirit magic. Uh, it has, you know, one wind, quick cast, and it just says draw a card. So it's basically all it does. It helps you put elementals in your graveyard because it is an elemental. And yeah, I mean, other than that, it's, it's okay. It's, uh, I'm going to have to see this deck actually you know be played to see how good it is because it's really hard to tell how good it is just by looking at the cards so let's continue man next up we have leaf fighter and he's just a 400 400 for one green yep that's, that's, that's basically all it does so moving on next up we have leaf magician and this totally looks like a fucking deku scrub from the legend of zelda this is 700 700 for two wind and one of any he's an elemental when this card is put into a graveyard from the field, draw a card. So that's okay. 700, 700, when he dies, draw a card. And that's, that's fine, I guess. It's not super great. It's not uh, remarkable or anything like that. So yeah, let's move on to the next card. We have Traveling Traders. You have 300, 400 for one uh, wind. Resonator Human. When this card enters the field, draw a card, then discard a card. This is pretty good. It's pretty good for like reanimator style decks. It's pretty good for possibly stocking up on your elementals in your graveyard so you can remove them from the game and do that. Also, I like the flavor. Like, look at his backpack. He's got, like, a potion. He's got, like, a doll. Something that looks like a bomb and a sword. There's a lot of, like, strong Zelda references here. So, yeah, I think this card's actually pretty good. So, yeah. Thumbs up for the Traveling Trader. Next up, we have the Tree Root Sprite. So this is an 800-800 for two of any and one wind. Is the Resonator Fairy. When this card enters the field, Choose one. Destroy target non-magic stone, non-J resonator entity, entity, or search your deck for an elemental and put it into your graveyard, then shuffle your deck. I think this card's pretty good. So it basically can blow up like a, a regalia, or I mean, I guess there's no regalias in New Frontiers, but in, in Wanderer, it can, it can blow up like a regalia. 
or an addition or basically anything that's a non-magic stone, non-geo-resonator thing. I think that's pretty cool. Um, you can also search your deck for an elemental and put it into your graveyard. You can use that for some, maybe some reanimator shenanigans or obviously with Gil. Uh, I think this card has a lot of potential, so yeah, I, I like this one quite a bit. Next up we have Elven Guide. So this dude is a 600-600 for one of any and one wind. When this card enters the field, look at the top three cards of your deck. Put one of them in your graveyard and the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. Once again, it's got some reanimator synergy. It's got some synergy with Guild of putting stuff in your graveyard randomly. 600-600 for two, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, I think this does have some potential as well. Probably mostly in reanimator decks, unless the whole like gill mechanic is good i don't see it being too good yet but i mean who knows man next up we have guardian of the portal so she is a 600 600 for two wind she says rest another recovered resonator you control this card gains plus 100 plus 100 until under so she can basically oh she's also an elf she's, so she can basically like pump herself up that's about all she does if you have like a big swarm you can pump her up to make her bigger but i mean it's an okay card I don't really see seeing a whole lot of play, but maybe, maybe somewhere if you can like build a whole bunch of tokens or something, maybe in like a, a feasting turbo deck or, or something, but other than that, man, I don't know. It's interesting at least. Next up we have Cecil Latoliel, Elven Prince, Cecil with Latoyel. I don't know, man. Anyway, he's a 1,000-1,000 for three of any and two win, Resonator Elf. Uh, you may play one less to play this card for each elemental in your graveyard. And elemental resonators you control gain plus 200, plus 200. So I guess he feeds into the whole gill theme, putting elementals into your graveyard to make the gill spells cost less. And then he also costs less. So he's basically, I mean, he could be like a, a two cost 1,000-1,000, which is nuts. And then he buffs up all your ele elementals, but... I mean, if the elemental thing is a thing, then this guy will be pretty good, but if it's not a thing, then he's gonna be, like, unplayable, so it's kinda got, like, this pretty strong dichotomy there. Maybe. There's always a chance. We, we have no idea what is in uh, the Ancient Knights yet in regards to elemental synergy, so there could be some really cool stuff there, but as of now, I think he's just kind of iffy in the starter deck. In the starter deck, he's okay, but anywhere else, he's like, meh. Next up we have Winds of Vitality. So this is a Chant Spirit Magic for one wind. It has quick cast. It says target J Resonator to gains plus 600, plus 600 until end of turn. So it's kind of like a giant growth from Magic the Gathering or like a, a pump spell from another game that has pump spells. Um, I think it's okay. It's pretty good, I guess. Uh, it's a good combat trick. It has Spirit Magic, so you can basically play it for free off of Gil. It's got... I don't know. We've seen this card before in Force of Will, but it wasn't like a spirit magic or whatever. So, I don't know. I think it's okay. I may or may not see some play, but yeah. Next up, we have one of the more interesting cards in the, the deck, I would say. It's Vanish. So, it costs three wind, chant spirit magic, has quick cast, and it says cancel target spell. So, because it has spirit magic, you can use one wind from the gill ability to make this only cost two. And at two, it's very, very powerful. At three, it's like, eh. I mean, it's, it's okay. It's no severing wins, let's just say that. So in the Gil deck, I think it's pretty good. If Gil is a thing, then I think this card will be pretty good. Like, it's got that whole writer, right? So like, if Gil is good, then this is going to be good. If he's not good, then it's going to be almost unplayable. So once again, it's got this huge dichotomy here. I think the Gil deck overall is pretty, like, hit and miss. I think it could be really powerful if it has a lot of good support, but I don't think a lot of the cards in the deck are good support. I mean, there's just straight up a 400-400 a that does nothing. I guess it's an elemental, but it doesn't do anything else, so... Yeah, guys. Oh yeah, one last card. We do have the Wind Magic Stone from this awesome artist with this awesome art. Once again, I think it looks fantastic. And there you have it, guys. That is the Wind Starter deck with good old Gil here. He's not, he's not Papa Gil anymore. I guess he's like... Kitty Gill, Link Gill, Gill, Gill Link, I don't know, I don't know guys, but anyway, I think it's interesting, I don't think this is the most powerful starter deck, in fact, I think this is one of the weaker ones, I think it's about on par with the, the light starter deck, to be honest, I think the light one might even be a little bit stronger than this one, uh, definitely the fire and the water one are better, and we have yet to see the darkness, I'm super excited for the darkness, so stay tuned for that as it gets spoiled, 
Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you all next time. Have a good one all, and I'll see you later.